For today's baking challenge, we will be making lemon and vanilla cake pops. These are the resources we will need for the cake pops. To start off, you need cake. So we are using the leftover from our cupcakes from last week's baking challenge, but you could use a boxed cake. There's also about a cup of icing left from last week, but you could use a cup of whatever icing you have. Also white chocolate chips, a cup, a spoon, a mixing bowl, and a wooden spoon. An ice cream scoop to scoop and measure the size of the cake pops. Cake pop sticks or small dowels, sprinkles, and a baking sheet. First you're going to take your cake and you're going to break it down into pieces and then further into crumbs. Next, you're going to add the icing. So once again, we had about a cup of icing left over. And it's kind of hard because it had been in the fridge, but it still works to be incorporated into our crumbs of cake. So I tried to use the wooden spoon, but it ended up just being better when you just used your hands. So just work that icing into the cake crumbs until it is a uniform consistency. Once they're finished combining, they should be combined to a point where it ends up being just a sticky crumb that then you can form into balls of the crumb. You will need your cookie sheet with some parchment on it to reduce the cake pop from sticking. So we're using one of the cake pop sticks to portion out how big your cake pops are, but you don't need to. So just roll in those balls and then placing them onto the cake pop sticks. either a glass bowl or a cup, just to melt down the chocolate. And you are going to begin by using your cake pop sticks or dowels and covering them in white chocolate. And then you're going to stick them about halfway through the cake pop balls so that they act as the cake pop sticks. Next, you're going to place your cake pops with the sticks in the freezer and allow for them to harden for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you are going to take your cake pops back out of the freezer. So we are going to use our melted chocolate and we are going to put the cake pops in the melted chocolate so that it covers it. You can use a spoon to help you with pouring on top of the cake pop. And then just kind of spin your cake pop after and make sure that all of the excess chocolate comes off. Continue until all of your cake pops are covered in When your white chocolate is still happy or sticky, You either add it all over or just add it at the bottom so it makes a cool design. And there you guys go, your cake pops are all done. Hope you guys had fun and enjoy it.